Today we'd like to show you how to change out the old cast iron scoop and cast iron supports in a Keystone, Palladian, or Fireview and replace those parts with the upgraded stainless steel parts. You'll be working through the load door and, and it's the same procedure basically for a Keystone, Palladian, or a Fireview. So working through the loading door you're going to remove the old parts just for our purposes today we've removed the glass and the andirons just so you can get a view of the parts inside the stove. You don't have to do that. That's just something that we've done to make the video a little bit clearer. So the first thing you're going to do, and you're going to need a half inch wrench or socket to do it, is remove the cast iron combustor scoop. My guess is if you're doing this procedure it may not look as nice as this one, but it's the same idea. You've got one bolt closest to the loading board door and that is threaded up into the cast iron support bolted to the top of the firebox. So with a half inch wrench or socket, you're going to loosen that bolt and remove it from the support. Now the scoop is held in by that one bolt. The back edge is held in by the bypass frame. So if you pull it forward and down, you'll be able to take it out of the stove. This expanded metal screen is extremely sharp, so definitely be careful handling that. So, remove the scoop from the stove. Now you have two supports, one closest to the load door, one at the far side of the firebox. These are bolted in place, um, two bolts apiece, and a half inch wrench or socket will remove those. Now a stove that's been used you're definitely going to want to start this procedure by giving all the hardware a good soak with a good quality penetrating liquid. Uh, we recommend PB Blaster, very, very easy to find, very effective at loosening up um, stuck bolts. Once the hardware is removed, it's not a bad idea if you have a 5 16 18 thread count tap on hand to run it up through the bolt hole in the top of the firebox um, before you try to put the new scoop post support hardware in place. Okay, so we've removed the support hardware, the support and the hardware. The new stainless steel supports are going to be installed in the frontmost hole from where the old supports were held in place. I've got the new parts here. And the scoop posts actually have the threaded part, a lock nut, and this is a stop to keep the new stainless steel scoop from rising too far up into the firebox. So what you're going to do is start by just threading these into the holes, again the frontmost hole. And what you want to do is just get them started. You're going to go almost all the way to the lock nut, but you don't want to tighten anything yet because we might have to make an adjustment as far as the length of the support, the post support, um, before we get everything tightened right up. Again, running a tap through that hole will certainly make it easier to install the, the posts. So you want to have the, um, the stops, the roll pins, parallel to the front of the stove. And just like the old scoop, the back edge of the new one is supported by the front lip of the bypass frame. So you sort of want to line things up here and then lift that up. And what we're looking for as far as the overall length and adjustment on the post is you want the screen at the top of the new scoop assembly to touch the, the top of the firebox. And you want the length of the post um, just enough so that you can insert the pins that hold the 
scoop in place. These are the pins that are going to slide right through that open hole. So the one closest to me, I think I need to tighten up a little bit. Give that another, another turn or so. I'll check it again. The one on the far side looks to be pretty good. Again, back edge in the front lip there. Now that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do, drop this down out of the way, I'm going to tighten that lock nut right up to the top of the firebox. Half inch wrench just to snug it in place. And the same thing on the far end. Make sure your roll pins stay parallel to the front of the stove. And again, back edge into the front lip first. Hold it up in place. And your hairpin cotters, we, we like the wavy part towards the front of the stove. You just push them right through and lock it in place. And again, one on the far end of the firebox. Lock it in place. So once it's in place, the screen is designed to act like the lint catch in your clothes dryer. It'll catch the fly ash before it gets to the catalytic combustor. Routine cleaning, just pop the pins out, drop the whole plate down. You can vacuum the screen out. Any ash that's built up in the top there can be cleaned out as well. So that's about it. Pretty straightforward. Again, if you do have any questions, just give us a call. 1-800-866-4344.